Welcome to Highline Excel class number 22. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Week 4, Business 214. If you're in the class, just go to our Week 4 website. In this video, we want to talk about assumption tables there that have formula inputs, how to build some formulas, how to run Scenario Manager, or how to use Scenario Manager, which will help us uh, store multiple variables, how to create a scenario report, and how to add a button to our QUAT for our scenarios. Now here's the setup. We have a little uh, budget here, and it, it goes over here a ways. Here's our assumptions. We're going to have revenue start there. Revenue increase. Ooh, that is too high. This is 0 0.015. How about that? 1.5%. And then some uh, expenses as a percentage of revenue. So what we want to do is build our formulas. Hey, for January sales, I'm going to say equals that one right here. And I'm going to hit tab. And this month, February, needs to look back to January's month, which is the month before, and increase by 1.5% uh, or 0 0.015. And so we need a formula all the way across. Equals one cell to my left times, and then in parentheses, one plus this uh, rate right here. Now, I need to lock this going across the column since I'm copying it across the column. So I hit my F4 key until the dollar sign's in front of the C. Close parentheses. What's nice about the one plus percentage uh, increase or rate increase is that the one will retain the 500, and this will get whatever the actual increase is, and then add them together in that formula. Control Enter, and then I'm going to drag it all the way across, almost all the way to the t uh, before the totals. Now our expenses, notice the orientation of the labels in our table are vertical. They're orientated vertically in the assumption table. When that's the case, then you can use mixed cell references, and you don't have to create four separate formulas. I'm going to highlight the whole range in advance, and I'm going to create a formula in the active cell. That active cell right there um, We'll take whatever formula uh, we're creating, and when we control enter, it'll populate all the cells. So you ready? Equals, hey, whatever the sales are for this month, and that needs to be able to move as it goes to successive months. But as it copies down, we need to lock it. So since we're copying across the rows, I'm going to hit the F4 key, dollar sign in front of the number for row reference, but it's not in front of the C, so it moves. Uh, as it goes across the columns. And that's going to be times. And here's our rate down here. So for this entire row, we need to use this 11.11. Uh, but as we copy down to the next one, we need to have this green cell right here move one down. So we want it locked across the columns when we're copying across the columns, but not across the row. So I hit F4, dollar sign stops in front of the column, but not the row. That's it. And um, we could. Uh, um, we're not really required to use round here, like we've talked about in earlier videos in this class, because this is, this is a budget. This isn't some exact to the penny, uh, like payroll taxes, where you're actually subtracting pennies. This is an estimate, so we don't need the round here. All right, uh, now our net income formula. You know, we could do our same trick right there. Notice what I did there. I did that really quickly. Let me do that again. I had the formula right here, and then I held Control and tapped Enter. And that populated all the cells with the formula. I better go check out here, see if I've got the right one. Diagonally furthest one away, I hit F2, uh, Edit Mode. And sure enough, it got the October sales, and it's got the Group 4. Now our uh, formula here for net income will be equals whatever uh, 1, 2, 3, 5, 5 cells above minus the sum of these four cells right above me. Now that formula has all relative cell references and will work as we copy it across. Now I'm going to highlight here and use my keyboard shortcut Alt equals for auto sum. I'm immediately going to hit F2 to see if it got it right. Looks like it did. All these relative ones to the left. Escape or Control Enter. Now here's the cool thing. We've got all of our formulas. But now we want to come down here. Why do we build uh, our formula inputs like this? Because, of course, the original guys who invented the spreadsheet, that was their idea. Bricklin and Frankston. 
you uh, build all your formulas, so then you can just come here. Hey, our revenue increase is not going to be 1.5% each month. It's going to be 0 0.009, so 9 tenths of a percent. And so instantly we hit Enter, and all of these numbers update. Now, uh, we could go back and forth on this, but this is a budget. So a lot of times you have one, two, three scenarios. And you want to save all the variables. So this is going to be our first scenario here. So watch this. Scenario means we'll then have 500.009, uh, et cetera, here. But then we'll change them. Then we'll have like a 600, uh, 1.5, uh, et cetera. But watch this. These are labels. These are the formula inputs. You highlight them. And to memorize them, so you can um, come back to them later, you use scenarios. Now, scenarios in this version is data, and then what if, in fact, let me make this a little bit bigger here. Data, what if, even a little bit bigger right there. Shht. Data, oh, not quite. Shht. Data, no, I can't get it. Anyway, so there it is. It's, it's, if you have full screen, that's a bigger icon. Scenario Manager. In 2003, you have to go to Tools, and then Scenario Manager. And all it wants is, oh, I already have a set there. I'm going to delete these. When you download this, it won't, you won't have those. You would see this, and you click Add. By the fact that we've uh, highlighted these, boop, it uh, wants a name. I'm going to say Set 1. Set 1. By There's the cells from B18 all the way to C23. And then click OK. Now, you, some people come here and edit them here. I usually just change them in the cells. and um, But you can actually come up here and change them and add. Uh, new scenarios from here. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click Close. Now I'm going to change this. This is going to be 600. This is going to be 0 0.015. This is going to be uh, 0 0.12. This is going to be 0 0.065, 0 0.07, and this one is 0 0.10. A dramatically different set of uh, inputs there. So now I'm going to highlight this and go back up here. And just click Add, Set 2. You absolutely can use this dialog box to add them. Uh, I always like to go back to the cells, click OK. Um, and f so now we have that second set. But oh, how do we uh, get back to the other set? Because I thought we were memorizing them. You go back up here, Scenario Manager, <clears throat> and then you just click and Show. And sure enough, it remembers them. Now I want to do one more. This will be uh, 1,000, uh, 0.02. This one will be 0 0.15, 0 0.07, 0 0.06, 0 0.08. All right, so I'm going to uh, go back up there. And I'm going to add, click Add. So now I'm going to call this Set 3. Set 3, click OK. Click OK. Now we have uh, one, two, three. Um, I'm going to click Show. It's you. You can always come back here and click whichever one you want, and then Show. I'm going to close this. I want to show you how to add a button, and then I'm going to show you how to create a report uh, from those three scenarios. Here's the Quat, the Quick Access Toolbar, and I want to add a scenario button. Right click and customize Quick Access Toolbar. Now you get this, it's automatically there. Be sure and select in the Choose Commands From, you want All. And this is great because you can pick any button you want and add it. I'm going to hit uh, Type S to jump down to the S's. And it should be down here, Scenario, not Scenario Manager, but this one right here. It's going to add a great button where it will make it easy for us to change scenarios. Click Add, it's added over here. And then at the very bottom, I'm going to click OK. Now watch this. I simply go to Set 2 and it changes it. Set 1, it changes it. I absolutely love that. That is just awesome. One last thing is, since our bottom line is this uh, total net income for this uh, period here, you can create a report that will show you the three scenarios and how this variable changes. Oops, you can't see that. I'm over here talking to myself. Right here, this is uh, the total. So we can create a report and uh, show how this number changes as the assumptions change are set one, two, three. So we're going to go back up to data, what if scenario manager, 
And I'm going to say summary, summary. And it's going to ask me, I want a scenario summary. It's going to ask me which cell. I'm going to click right there because that's the, that's the bottom line. And it will show us the three scenarios and how that changes. I'm going to click OK. It will insert a new sheet right there. And uh, there's set one, set two, set three. Here's the current values. And then uh, these, and it shows you right down at the bottom how uh, this whatever was in M15 changes from uh, one scenario to the next. Absolutely amazing. OK, uh, scenario, scenario, scenario manager, how to add a button and the report. All right, in uh, the next for this class, we're going to talk about data tables. But it's, the video is not going to be called uh, Highline number 23. You're going to go look at Magic Trick uh, 253, 54, 55. And I put the sheets here. So you just watch the video, and the sheets are here. Um, they'll also be in our playlist, so you don't have to go searching for them. And then uh, for Goal Seek, this topic, I have a great video called YouTubers Love Excel 103. So the sheets here, and then um, you can either search for that video, YouTubers Love Excel number 103, Goal Seek, or you can. Uh, uh, search for uh, Mag Excel Magic 253, 254, 255. Um, and also, if you download this workbook, I'll have the link up here uh, for those topics. All right, we'll see you next video for importing data after you watch all these other ones.